Hello, my little scientists. I am back. My name is Miss Isabella. I am from A Time for Kids, which is a preschool readiness program where we practice and learn different skills to help prepare you guys for school, get you ready. This is our full steam ahead program. We practice learning science, technology, engineering, arts, and math. And I always say, even though we're not a math class or a science class, we can still practice those critical thinking skills, those problem solving skills, through the different activities that we do, through our science experiments, our stories that we read, the activities we create together. All of those activities are designed for you grown-ups to work right alongside with your children. Today we are going to start off with a good morning song. We're going to wave our hands, stomp our feet, go through all those different movements. And then after that, we are going to be learning about the weather with my weather windmill right here. So we're going to sing a song. We're going to go through all the different weather scenarios that can play out. And then we are going to start our science experiment. So if you guys tuned into my video last week, we made a tornado in a jar. Today we are going to grow a rainbow. So just like I said last time, the first step to being a good scientist is we get our materials ready. So let's go through our materials together. The first thing you guys need are two cups of water. I have them right here. And then you need some washable markers. I have the colors of the rainbow right here. If you guys don't have the rainbow colors, you guys can use colors of your choice. Our rainbow will still grow. We can choose our colors. And then if you guys have permanent markers instead of washable markers, you're just going to need a different base in the cups. Since they're not water-based, a permanent marker is usually alcohol-based, so you could put something like rubbing alcohol in your cups. But I'm using washable markers today since they're a little less messy. And then after that, we are going to be reading a story called Humpty Dumpty after the fall. So you guys might know the story about Humpty Dumpty. We are going to learn what happens after his fall. All right, so we are going to start off first with that good morning song. So let's warm up those hands. Let's wave them like this. Let's shake, shake, shake. All right, you got it guys. Let's take those hands and let's wave them up high in the sky like this. Shake, shake, shake. All right, let's wave those hands down low to the floor. Shake it all out. And let's shake our hands as fast as we can go. Wave, wave, wave. And freeze. All right, can you guys find your head? Let's tap on our head. Tap, tap, tap. Can you guys find your bellies? Let's tap on our bellies. Let's find our shoulders. All right, very good, guys. Let's find our knees. Let's find our chin. All right, and last one, let's find our ears. All right, let's take our ears. Let's turn them on and let's get ready for that good morning song. So we'll take our hands, we'll start waving them again like this, and I'll get our music on. Here we go. All right, you got it, guys. Wave, wave, wave. Here we go. Twirl. How are you? How 
How are you today? Oh, guys, get really close. Let's listen to the music. Ready, let's listen to the music. Let's be really quiet. You guys hear it? scenarios, okay? okay? I'm gonna grab my chair. All right, this is my weather windmill that I brought for you guys today. Let's see, we'll adjust our lighting here a bit so you guys can see it a little bit better. So the first one that we have is our sun. So we have a sun for when it's hot outside. We have a cloud for when it's raining. We have this guy right here. What do you guys think the weather is like in this picture? It's probably cold outside, right? Because he has his winter jacket on. He has his hat, his scarves. Let's take a look at this one. What do you guys think about that one? It looks like his popsicle is melting and it looks like he is too, right? So it's probably hot outside. He has his bathing suit on. And we have a snowman and it's snowing outside. Right, so we are going to get the music back on and we are going to sing about the different weather scenarios on my windmill, okay? All right, and you guys can think about what weather it would be like outside right after a rainbow or before a rainbow, right? Because we're going to be growing a rainbow today. All right, I'm going to get that music on and here we go. I hear it. Do you know what the weather is like today? Here we go. Sometimes you can find out just by looking out a window. That's Here's a little right song that's all about today's weather. Do you know what the weather will be? Is it sunny or is it rainy? Is it cold or is it hot? Is it snowy or is it not? Do you know what the weather will be? If you do, right, guys, then we're go again. please tell me. Here we go, so we're going to start with our sun again. Let's listen. You know, the fun thing about the weather is Ooh, that it can The change. fun thing about the weather. It, it can, can change, so right? It can be so outside that you wear a t-shirt. All right, so you guys know the words now. You can sing right along with me. Here we go. Today? Do you know what the weather will be? Is it sunny or is it rainy? Is it cold or is it hot? Is it snowy or is it not? Do you know what the weather will be? If you do, then please tell me. All right, we did it, guys. Give yourself some round of applause. Very good, guys. Now that we learned about all the different weather scenarios, what do you guys think? If you guys see a rainbow in the sky, do you think it was snowy outside? Do you think it was rainy, cold? It was probably raining, right? So usually when it rains outside, then we see our rainbow after. But today, we don't need any rain. We're going to grow a rainbow right here in the A Time for Kids studio. So I'm going to grab those materials. You guys can grab yours, and we are going to start our experiment, okay? All right, here we go. So let's grab those materials. All right, so we have our cups of water. We have our paper towel. We have the colors of the rainbow. So we have red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and I don't have violet or indigo, so I have this purplish, pinkish color that I'm going to use at the end. All right. I have my science picture right here. This is what our science experiment is called, grow a rainbow. Now the 
First thing we are going to do is we are going to take our paper towel and we are going to fold it in half. And we're going to fold it in half like this. And then we're going to tear just a little piece off the end just to make our rainbow just a little bit shorter. Just so that it grows a little bit faster. All right, and next we are going to start to color our paper towel. So I'm going to start off first with my red and I'm going to make a red rectangle. So I'm going to make my red rectangle at the very end of my paper towel, just like this. And then I'm going to make another red rectangle right across from it. Right after that, we are going to take our next color and we're going to put it right next to it. So I have orange and I'm going to make an orange rectangle right next to my red. Alright, here it is. Alright, next up we have yellow. So we're going to do the same thing and green is already coming my way. It is ready. Right, there's my yellow. After that, we are going to grab green. Do the same thing. Here it is. Now we have two more colors. So I have blue. And if you guys have indigo or violet, like I said, you guys can add those colors. If you don't have the exact colors, that's okay too. You guys can make it your own and choose your own colors. I'm going to use this pinkish purple color and put it right next to it. All right, and like I said before, since we are using washable markers and they're water-based, we are going to use a water base to help us grow our rainbow. Now, before I start this science experiment, I just wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about the science behind it. So this is going to work due to something called capillary action. And a way that you can show this to, to your children is to take a straw and put it in one of those water cups like this. Now, if you guys look closely, you'll see that the water traveled up my straw and it's actually higher in the straw than it is in the cup. So if you guys look closely, you can see it. And this is due to capillary action because it states that liquid travels up through material despite other forces such as gravity. So that's exactly what's happening in my straw and that's exactly what's going to happen with my rainbow. The water is going to travel up through the paper towel despite other forces and it's going to help my rainbow grow. All right, so we are going to start this now. So we have our cups of water. We are going to take one end of our rainbow and we are going to dip it in one cup and we are going to take the other end of our rainbow and dip it in the other cup. You guys can take your rainbow and do it at the exact same time, but just so that you guys can see it, I'm going to do one end at a time. All right, here we go. This is the fun part. You guys see my rainbow growing? And you guys can tilt the water like this to help it grow. All right, let's try the other side now. Here we go. All right, my rainbow is growing. So you guys can take your cups now. You guys can actually leave it like this for a little while. And when we come back to it, you'll see that our rainbow has grown all the way through, okay? All right, so we're gonna put this to the side for now. We are going to let our rainbow to continue to grow and then we can take it out after and we can dry it and then we'll have a rainbow, okay? So I'm gonna put this to the side for now. Okay, we are going to get my story out, we are going to read it, and then we will come back to our rainbow and check on it, okay? All right, you guys did an awesome job, so give yourselves a round of applause. All right, I'm going to put my table away, and we will go to story time now. All right, we are going to read my story called Humpty Dumpty After the Fall. So if you guys know the story of Humpty Dumpty, it goes like this. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men 
couldn't put Humpty together again. So we are going to read the story about what happened to Humpty Dumpty after his fall. All right, and it starts off like this. Hi, my name is Humpty Dumpty. This was my favorite spot, high up on the wall. I know, it's an odd place for an egg to be, but I loved being close to the birds. Then one day, I fell. I'm sort of famous for that part. Folks called it the Great Fall, which sounds a little grand. It was just an accident, but it changed my life. Fortunately, all the king's men managed to put me back together. Well, most of me. There were some parts that couldn't be healed with bandages and glue. Look at him, guys. They put it back together, but does he look happy? He looks a little sad, right? After that day, I became afraid of heights. I was so scared that it kept me from enjoying some of my favorite things. I walked past the wall every day, and I would think about climbing that ladder again. I really missed the birds and being high above the city, but I could never do it, because I knew that accidents can happen. Here he goes. I eventually settled for watching the birds from the ground. It wasn't the same, but it was better than nothing. Then one day, an idea flew by. So what is it? It's a paper airplane, right? Making planes was harder than I thought. It was easy to get cuts and scratches, but day after day, I kept trying and trying. That's kind of like what we do with our science experiments, right? It doesn't work the first time, we keep trying and trying. Until I got it just right. Guys, what does this airplane look like? It kind of looks like a bird, right? My plane was perfect and it flew like nothing could stop it. I hadn't felt that happy in a long time. It wasn't the same as being up in the sky with the birds, but it was close enough. Uh-oh, but unfortunately, accidents can happen. He doesn't look too happy. What does he look like? He looks frightened or scared, right? They always do. There's Humpty Dumpty, and there's his paper airplane flying up on the wall. There's only one way to get it. I almost walked away again, but then I thought about all the time I'd spent working on my plane and all the other things I'd miss. I decided I was going to climb that wall, but the higher I got, the more nervous I felt. I didn't want to admit it. I was terrified. I didn't look up, I didn't look down. I just kept climbing, one step at a time. Let's encourage him, guys. You got this, Humpty Dumpty. You can do it, you can do it. Until I was no longer afraid. Guys, look at him. Does he look scared anymore? Oh, he looks happy, right? He made it up on his favorite wall. Maybe now you won't think of me as the egg who was famous for falling. Hopefully, you'll remember me as the egg who got back up and, guys, what's happening to him? It looks like his egg's starting to crack. Looks like he's about to hatch. <gasps> guys, what is Humpty Dumpty? And learn how to fly. Look at that. It turns out Humpty Dumpty wasn't an egg after all. Humpty Dumpty was a great big beautiful bird. The end. All right, thank you guys so much for listening to my story. That is one of my favorite stories that I love reading to my classes. I truly believe that it's a story for all ages about perspective and getting the courage to get back up, even if you fall, to try and try again. So I truly believe that it is a book for all ages. It's actually a book that I got read to in my senior class in college. So if that doesn't show it right there, then I don't know what does. <laughs> but it's truly a story that we can all relate to together and all learn from together. So thank you guys for listening. You guys did a great job. Give yourselves a round of applause. 
I am going to get that rainbow out. I'm going to check on it, and then we are going to sing and dance to our last song, okay? All right, let's take a look at my rainbow. So if you guys see, my rainbow almost is touching now. So it almost grew all the way. You guys can take it out. You can dry it, put it on a piece of plastic, wait for it to dry, and then you guys will see it. I can show you one that I did in my other class that did dry, and it will look something like this. All right, so you guys can hang it up on your wall. There it is. All right, we are going to sing and dance to one last song, and that is Skidamarink. So you guys can grab your musical instruments, bells, shakers, drums, get those out, and we will sing and dance together, okay? All right, here we go. I have my bells right here. All right, get ready, guys. I hear it. experiments coming okay all right take care guys bye bye everybody thank you for watching